What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Chill, where I, Graham, Gius, and Matthews break down all the original content I watch on the WWE Network. Today, I was supposed to be talking about the season finale of Miz and Misses, but that was before I realized that there would be a new prime target focusing on NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff from, you know, focusing on the show from today that's airing a little later on today on the WWE Network. So I figured I would put that up today in my Miz and Misses review up tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, today we're talking Prime Target, NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff. All about TakeOver Cardiff airing today on the WWE Network. And I say today because it's airing Eastern Time at like 2 p.m., which is like 7 p.m. Uh, UK time. So it should be a great show. I'm trying to get this up before the show on uh, on Saturday. Today I'm recording this obviously well in advance, but want to get the show up in time for the event later today. But um, a lot like the NXT TakeOver ones, I thought this one did a great job of focusing on the show and hyping up the event and getting me excited for the show later on today. Just because I feel like the hype on NXT UK TV in recent weeks has been solid, but there are not nearly as many people talking about this TakeOver as there was the last one. I mean, granted, that was the first ever UK TakeOver, and it was a great show, but I really feel like they had to hit a home run with this one. And I realize it's not going head-to-head to the AEW all out, but it doesn't matter. The brand needs more buzz. And hopefully the show can accomplish that if they can exceed expectations and knock this out of the park. Um, but they kick off the special with a flashback to Tyler Bate becoming the first ever WWE United Kingdom champion, as well as when NXT UK launched and everything else in that time. The first ever UK takeover, Walter debuting, winning the championship, the WWE UK title from Pete Dunne at um, the TakeOver New York show over WrestleMania weekend this year. Then we see Tyler Bate talking about how he started wrestling at the age of 14 and how Trent Seven actually met him at a training seminar in Birmingham. I think Birmingham, England, uh, many, many years earlier, or around that time because he started training at 14, so he must have met him when he was like 16 or 17. Uh, Tyler Bates said his goal was always to be in the WWE, and he ended up getting signed at the age of 19 uh, when they announced that UK tourney at the tail end of 2016. Tyler Bates says as cool as it was to you know get signed by WWE, become the first ever champion and all this other stuff, he didn't really know what he was doing at that point when he became champion. Didn't really truly appreciate it because he was so young. And it's been a constant search then, since then over the last two years for him to find out who he is as a performer and more importantly as a person. Uh, Trent Seven said, I believe talking about NXT UK, he said what we got was enough talking about the brand and maybe he was talking about British Strong style. I'm not exactly sure what he was talking about there, but I believe he was referencing NXT UK and how what they've gotten has been great so far. Um, Walter, we then hear from Walter, and we don't hear from Walter too often, so it was cool to get some in-depth con- uh, comments and analysis on the Walter persona, you know, his character, whatnot, and he talks about how he can kind of focus on himself while in Germany, which is where he lives, and he also brings up too, which that was really interesting, because he brought this up well before he ever signed the WWE, a few years ago on a podcast with Stone Cold Steve Austin, if not about a year ago. He said that when WWE approached him about signing him, he was asked if he would ever, you know, contemplate moving from there to either England or the States, and he didn't say here that he said no, but obviously he did say no, because he said he stays true to himself, and by that he means he's not leaving his roots, and obviously WWE signed him anyway, which is really cool. But he calls Tyler Bate and the entire England division of WWE, NXT UK, whatever, a joke, and he says that um, he's very aware that no one in the locker room likes him, Um, But he doesn't care because he gets the job done. Trent Seven says that Tyler Bate can ride through any type of stress, no matter what it is, whether it's in the ring, outside the ring. And he also talks about Bate's evolution from where he started in WWE a few years ago up until where he is today. Uh, Walter has his own training school, as we saw on NXT UK about a week or two ago, where he just beats the living shit out of his students. And he says, you won't get anything you get here for free. And he just really beats respect into his prospects. He says that Imperium, his faction, um, consisting of him, Alexander Wolf, Marcel, Bar- Marcel Bartel, and Fabian Eichner, uh, they respect wrestling more than anyone else. And he says that Tyler Bader, really anyone else from British Strong Style, would not stand a chance in his school. Uh, Tyler Bates' mom uh, was asked to comment on the beating that Bate endured at the hands of Walter and Imperium about a month ago in NXT UK. She said she wouldn't comment on it. Trent Seven said that he saw Tyler Bate at his weakest point in that moment. And that Seven then wanted payback, or Seven then wanted payback on NXT UK by calling out Walter, getting a match with him. He lost, um, but at least he tried to avenge his friend's beating. Uh, Bates says that he watched Walter from home taking liberties with Seven, and he felt disrespected with the beating that uh, Seven endured at the hands of Walter and Imperium. 
And Bates said uh, that it's time for him to suffer now, now that he's you know taken out all of his anger on Seven and Bate and Pete Dunn. Now it's time for Walter to suffer for his sins. And Seven now says that this is the best Tyler Bate he has ever seen going into takeover on Saturday. Tyler Bates says that his mom, uh, that uh, her, you know, Tyler Bates' mom says that she's proud of Tyler Bates and all that he's accomplished up to this point, and that uh, she's confident in his abilities heading into this takeover. Bates says that really not much has changed about his training and his, you know, offensive training heading heading into this event. Um, aside from how his training now is more specific to Walter as opposed to just training in general. Um, and he says that he's well aware of how heavy Walter is, like 130-something kilos. I'm not exactly sure what that you know translates to in uh, pounds. But he says that it's not a matter of whether he wants to move his weight or that he can't move his weight. He knows that he has to move his weight in order to win that championship. Seven says that there's a lot riding on this and that he talks about the importance of British Strong Style and the roots of you know, uh, the the roots of British Strong Style in this matchup. Bates says that Walter represents what he doesn't agree with, and he's ready, and that he needs to prove to himself that he can be the champion that NXT UK deserves. And Tyler Bates says to close out the special at TakeOver Walter, you know, talking directly to him, I'm taking that title from you. So I thought this was a great way to hype up the main event. Obviously, didn't really focus on any other matches on the show. Uh, we kind of already got that with Tony Storm and Kylie Ray on NXT UK. The video package is focusing on those two, which has been awesome recently. Not much on B and Walter, though, until this. So I thought this was great. I wish we could have seen more of this on NXT UK. They did a very brief video package on it on this week's show for like literally two or three minutes. We needed more of this, like they did with NXT a couple weeks ago before TakeOver Toronto 2, where they aired like the first you know, 10 minutes of Prime Target uh, for uh, Target, you know, for TakeOver Toronto 2, and then aired the full thing on the YouTube channel, then on the network. This one on the NXT UK TakeOver, I don't think is, as of right now, available on YouTube. It is on the network. Check it out at your leisure. But uh, if you're listening to this before TakeOver UK a little later on today, I will say that it's well worth checking out, and it will get you hyped up for Today's event, it should be an awesome show, and I'm looking forward to it. So, that being said, guys, thank you for checking out my review of Prime Target NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff. Be sure to like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll be back tomorrow here on Network and Show with my review of the Season 1 finale of Miz and Misses. Until then, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Enjoy TakeOver UK, uh, UK TakeOver Cardiff, whatever it's called, a little later on today, and I'll catch your ass down the road.